I say as he immediately drops a Nixia. Actually, five classes above 50%. Nice. Anyway. I go on the Diver over the Argus. Um, I never get weapons. I don't know. I just never get weapons. I'll still probably take this, right? Surely we get a weapon. For some reason, the only weapon I seem to get is Gorehal. It's very weird. It's tempting armor synergy, but this is still better. Oh my god, we got a weapon. We did it! Ooh. If we want to be aggro, Scalebane is way better. But we could be control. Surely. This will work out. Oh, a brawl. Wait, the win rate of this card's actually positive. Brawl's actually doing well. I guess it's just no one plays around it, right? Maybe we try it. Fuck it. <laughs> this is also a good fatigue card. <laughs> okay. Big taunt. Alright, we are now forcing control. We don't have any, like, we only have one two drop. Yeah, I will take that. There we go. <laughs> we are straight up fatigue warrior now. Uh, just more taunt. Sure, fuck it. <laughs> We're gonna be off board. Probably prefer ISO. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We are going hardcore control. That is what we are doing. Damn, we can't get Brawl off of that. That kind of sucks. Is Framebot ever better? The answer is no, right? Is it though? I mean, it's more stats. 1 plus 5 is 6. 2 plus 3 is only 5. Surely it's better, right? <laughs> Pirates, we have like... Oh, that's a pirate. Okay. Treasure Guard might still be better. Scamp is better. We'll probably get more pirates, right? It's like it's only worse if we don't get more pirates. Just don't need a War Axe, right? I mean, that's the one man deal 10. Oh my god, we got the thing. This is bad for fatigue, though. Wait, how come I was talking about how I never get weapons, and then we get, like, all the weapons? Excuse me, game. I don't even want it, but, like, the other cards are crap, so... I mean, given that this is very likely to dredge up a uh, trident, this might just be better. And we have no dragons for this. The sample size, Evasive Worm is that low? Evasive Worm is just the lowest win rate card out of these three. Wow. Worm is not what it used to be, man. It's crazy. This was one of the best cards in the game when it came out. <laughs> Twin Tyrant is still one of the best cards, but Worm has not aged well. I'm not sure how I make a video about this, but I want to make a video about that sometime. Just how, like, cards age differently. Grim Necro is a great example. It was a terrible 4-drop when it came out, and now it's better than Yeti. But anyway, I guess we're taking this. Brave for more value? Or Anoyatron to just die slower? Mistress to die much slower is an option too. We do actually need like threats. I mean, we have infinite weapons. Do we actually just need healing? It's kind of funny. Honestly, like... It might just be the healing. Because we have so many weapons, we're going to be taking, like, more damage. We have, like, we don't even have armor gain. I think we just want the heal. Straight up for the heal. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Fuck, I want that. But, <laughs> but this is one mana deal 10. Oh... There's no way I can pick a beetle over one mana deal 10, right? 
It's just because, like, we literally cannot hit... We have more weapons than we have health. We can't even use what we have, yet alone adding another one. <laughs> but, I mean, if you have the board, then it doesn't really matter. I don't know. It's like, in theory, it should save us more health, probably. Forge and Flame to lose the fatigue, which our whole deck is built to win us. That's an option. Well, this is insane. It's probably... I, we could take Owl. Probably Merchant, though. Having tradable with the dredges we have is going to be nice. To be able to dredge up and play the weapons immediately. Could actually be really relevant. No dragons, right? Oh no, we have two dragons now. Still probably this. I don't think two is enough. To draft that over a bat rider. But I like my deck kind of. I've never drafted this card, so I have to take it, right? It's probably correct anyway. If you ever draw Fires and Outrider's Axe, you actually just straight up win. <laughs> That's so insane. If you draw both those cards in your opening hand, the game just ends instantly. It's, it's unfortunate because I want a pirate too. Because this thing only draws. Oh, actually, I have these. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I have to take it. Mm, that's nice. Should I mulligan away any card that isn't fires? Point Obsidian Smith into fires off the bottom. Why is that because I actually drew another one? I could have gone coin two into double one. It's actually an option. Buffed game plank, maybe? I could take one of these, but then I'm just going to dredge again. I could do that. I kind of want to draw from my actual deck, though. That's a really tough choice. Like, all three of those are good. Now, the Gangplank gets buffed. If you hand buff a uh, Dormant, it works. I'm just going to have to be patient, I guess. It's not like we can kill him with this hand. What's up, Gateway? How are you doing, by the way, Gary Glaive? CX Soul, Lushanka, Doge House. I'm just getting, like, grinded out by his shit. And he's not even doing anything. Like, I'm losing to his hero power right now. Just straight up losing. How do I deal with this? I mean, I don't. I'm just hemorrhaging cards. I bait him into playing his own gangplank. Which there's almost zero chance he actually has.
This always draws the Obsidian Smith off the bottom, right? Well, surely he can't deal with this. The one problem is that we're actually just ludicrously dependent on this one out Outrider's Axe. If we just don't draw it, or the uh, fires, we're going to be really sad. I'm even wondering, I think I actually hold this back. It's like, I have to play this for the super fucking giga long game. Wait, that's true, I should probably dredge this up also. We did a charm. I'm not used to playing like this. I feel so helpless playing control because I'm so used to being in charge of the game playing tempo. But uh, you know, nice bets. It's it's every it's always happens that all the bets go into six to nine. Pretty nice. I do approve. I can start a tempo push here. I should probably do that. He doesn't get any armor this way. I mean, I could also go Drake, but... The one downside is I lose three armor, so the Drake's gonna be weaker, but this is just so strong, I think. That we just do it. This will only be able to deal five, but... Hopefully five is enough. I say as he immediately drops a Nixia. Hey guys, so uh, the stream's just starting right now. How are you guys doing? I play the fires, right? Because, um, yeah, I can shuffle this into the deck afterwards. No, I didn't speak the worst possible RNG into existence. I did it on turn nine so that he would have Anixia Broodmother instead of the other Anixia. This was planned out. I chose the second worst outcome myself. Remember when I had a board? Pepperidge Farms remembers. <laughs> Yo, Dose with the raid. What is up? Am I smack him with this? Probably. I imagine we're not getting an elemental. We'll do this. Yo, negative one with the resub. Got to turn off auto resub for 16 months. Gotta remember to do that. Appreciate it. Appreciate the raid dose coffee. How are the rest? I was in there for a little bit. How was the rest of your stream? You know what I'm realizing now though? Like well, I guess I don't have to choose this, right? I can choose this, but I don't have to choose this. It's kind of okay. Ooh. What I probably should have done is I should have just done this immediately, right? We're getting smorked. Am I racing him? I should probably kill this. It's weird though, like now I don't even want to... This makes me even more not want to do this immediately. Should I? But I want the AoE. This is just very confusing. 
I'm gonna do this and then dredge and see what it see what's down there. So we can take the trident, but we might choose. Okay, I guess we're taking the trident. He's just like, well, all these minions are useless. Oh yeah, I forgot that this is actually upgraded too. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of relevant because now he just dies. Why not play test last turn? It's going to be good eventually. And he's also just, it gives him more to trade into, which I don't actually want to do. No. Uh -oh. I have a bad feeling about this. What happened with the Nixia? Uh, I spoke it into existence. Fortunately, I spoke the, the weak Anixia, not the good one. So, you are useless. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had a 5-6 from there. Maybe I should have played it earlier. <laughs> Suddenly, um, 16 extra face damage appears out of nowhere. An excellent use of the skill command. Okay, none of these cards are Fires of Zinashari. That was like a what? Like, that was like a turn 8 Fires of Zinashari. You can ask why I kept coin. It was because, like... Basically, we had like absolutely no damage in our early game, so I was basically just hero powering the first like eight turns of that game. Because there was like nothing we could do. We were actually, we actually lost like four cards to the mage hero power in the first like six turns of that game. It was very depressing. <laughs> so we play the axe and then we win, right? That's the strat. Do I have to kill the fish first? It's a world where you coin an Ixian Drake to kill this, because it's going to be so long before we have armor. But maybe it's okay to just, like, kill this. Unfortunately, I have no AoE, so this is going to be a problem. So I'm wondering if I'm actually supposed to hit the fish. Which way do we take more damage? Because we're taking three damage this way. We take three, it's still three. You take two extra damage, you leave one extra on the board. Like, it depends on how long it takes, right? I think we kill a fish. This might be wrong, but... Maybe I should have done this first, because I'm actually just going to play this anyway, maybe. I don't know. I Instead, I can go Diver, Trade. Maybe that's better. It probably is better, because he's going to want to play something big at some point, and then we can just Diver it. It's probably this, right? Or that. That's amazing. Might have to give up a draw just to guarantee the uh, dynamic outcome, maybe. We'll see though. Gonna kind of really suck when he gives the 5 4 Divine Shield using the 2 drop. That'll never happen. Why did I speak into existence, chat? Why do I do this? I keep doing it. Where the Colossus that is supposed to come with every deck, you need to pre order the expansion and then you get the cap. UXR, thanks for the follow. 
Oh, he's trying to murder us, chat. Yeah, we take the board clear, right? If you don't hit first, it's not guaranteed to clear, so that'd be kind of bad. We might die. Just making sure I actually have that card in my hand, because it would not be the first time I found out that there wasn't a card in my hand. What I also did forgot to check was to make sure that there were no mechs on the board. Because that's a really bad way to lose. <laughs> but fortunately, there were no mechs on the board. But I was, did not even think about that. Okay, so we have this and this to, to not die. If he doesn't put up any pressure, we have this. But that's probably, uh, probably not going to happen. Ideally, obviously, we'd be able to do both of these. So that we can set this up. Yeah, true. This card is where all our Colossals are. And I hate this deck tracker bug let me see if i can fix that oh that is not a lot of pressure i don't even want to like risk it you know like i could do these i could even like trade this just to like set this up but we could get oozed theoretically i don't want to do this either because like we might get righteous defense or something so maybe we just drake and kill this we could also play city architect but i think this feels better yeah it's like i don't know i've been alexed by maybe it's because i've been alexed by paladins one too many times And it's like also ooze and stuff. But he would have oozed our other weapon, right? So it was probably fine. But honestly, I think we're fine not doing the risky play. Because yeah, like if you don't, like if you don't, you're not armoring with that play either. So a true sower puts you at two and then suddenly you just might randomly die. Okay, now I might just weapon this. Could also just play Giant Taunt, though. Because it's like, I'm afraid of just like some random buff killing us if we leave minions up too. That's the other thing. But that can't happen if we just, uh... We should be pretty safe with this. In theory, we should be safe with Trident Diver, though. But I can. I'm probably gonna try it. Try it after the revenant, which would mean I think this is just fine. It's like the only way this goes wrong is a quality, exactly a quality, plus a buff, basically. A quality to clear and then a buff to like murder us. And it would have to be like exactly blessing of kings too. Paladin or Rogue? Ugh, or that. There's always something with this class. We have to do this. He only has three power though. Fucking dragon dying to a dude. No, oh, he's trying to murder us. That could be a problem. We're probably just going like Diver City Architect now, right? Dude, it's just cursed. Why did I speak it into existence, by the way? 
I spoke it into existence like four turns in advance. It's like, I can't even be mad at this point. It's just like, okay, that's... This always draws the dredge. Pretty sick. I'm just gonna be happy to play this Nixon Drake as a 4 or 5. But it's funny, like, given what his draws were, I guess we would have lost no matter what we did, right? I don't know if we could have specifically played around exactly what he ended up having if we knew. Because the thing was, is I don't think we would have been able to stay above 8. I don't know, it's like, we would have maybe with City Architect, like City Architect on 7 into Armor on 8. Because I guess he wouldn't have been able to get through it, right? It was like, if we actually knew, then we could have done that. Oh well, no, because if we game plank, we still take the minion damage and then we just die to the Alex. So. Coining out this card is interesting. Okay. I guess that explains it. Play the top deck, trigger opponent. Nether does not kill a dormant minion. Do I actually just break this and then dredge it up immediately? I should break it on here actually. I can even trade it up, but I should probably armor, right? Curve-wise, it's weird. Yeah, it's a little awkward. I think I'm going to break it, but just play the 4-5. Uh, because I'm probably going to go... Um, Diver, and then I do this plus trade into this. It's actually kind of, I mean, it'd be better if he didn't have a Baba Naga, but oh my god, another one. Kind of works out for us, though. Only has five mana, he can't even block us with like City Architect or Ice Huff, so... We're also kind of forcing him to go wide right into our weapon. Ah, fuck. Do we just Outriders, then? Like, how do I even use all these weapons, dude? I want to get the card draw, don't I? There's the heal. The one heal we drafted. Maybe I want to hide that I have this and just play the ones. I think I do. I think that's just better on board anyway. And I also want to get this heal <laughs> desperately. <laughs> so, I guess so. What's up, Power? How you doing? I'm doing good because I'm streaming today instead of working, which is always fun. Interesting, okay. I can just dredge up this weapon now. Because I can draw it immediately. I don't really want to give him this information, but I don't really have a choice. Brawl being useful at the bottom of the deck. Maybe I should have done the diver so I could actually play it. Might have been smart. I don't know, this is probably fine. Get rid of this. Maybe it'll be better next turn. What's my day job? I do data stuff.
It's an incredibly rude stat line. So maybe I just uh, overwrite this and just kill that. I want the draw though, so I'm probably going to take the draw. Hmm. We want to execute, right? <laughs> Clash. Clash of the one way we lose this game, except for him having Templar Captain right now. Probably be Templar Captain, actually. Especially with that execute. Especially when he's playing a raid leader right now. He's trying to murder us, Joe. Seems like a good way to lose the game. Exactly. It's content though, right? Those were priceless. Cool. Like, <laughs> what does he do about this? Am I hitting this here so that I can just kill it? It's probably the play. I think I'm not Papega enough to use the last weapon charge with that. Like this. I was about to say, like, so we're playing, or we're staying above eight health, right? Okay, surely this time we will not draw the million weapon hand, right? Surely. Trading you will have to wait. Unfortunately, this class has a million pings. I don't know why I do this to myself, chat. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Think we have any pirates? That's not what you want to be doing right now, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Um. I guess I do this first, right? Fuck. Do I actually keep this? I need a turn four play. But it's like I can get another five drop. I guess I keep it, huh? Hmm. <laughs> and then we just draw our only Divine Shield, yeah, basically. We did a chat. Our weapon killed a 3 drop at the cost of 3 health. Let's find out. Oh. Go, Varian! This is so disgusting, though. Oh my god. Okay, no Divine Shield, but that's fine. Like, when you get card draw out of the five drops with Zinishar, that's when it's like totally unfair, because then it completely makes it impossible for you to low roll at that point, right? Like, that's what makes it just totally unreasonable. Okay, do I play Rat King or Boomkin? Or do I play an eight drop? Or do I play the six drop in my deck? 
No, right? I have too many good options. I probably shouldn't play this over Boomkin. So it's probably between these. Probably just do this, right? Even get an achievement. Here it comes! <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't get it. There's no way to like generate spells, right? Do I just play this? Probably. What's he gonna do? Isn't racking bear there? Where it's like you have a four or five. If you do racking, you have a five one. I do see the appeal in getting the guy down, but if I did this, he couldn't have even coined out the mountain bear. Oh yeah, that's true, you can get like Caligos, yeah. Caligos to get a fire spell and then you just... <laughs> Explosive shot the hunter. Help. Oh, just a random Anixia. Oh, this is active now, nice. I guess I'll do this. Seems alright. It's like, to be fair, this is like our seventh draw. No! Now it's only an 8 8. He's actually just dead. <laughs> oh, we can draw all our spells now. Nice. Okay. Nothing to see here. Tweeny thinks of all. The turn two win rate of this card is sixty is almost sixty nine percent. Nice. It's like I could keep this, but also I should probably not keep too many cards that aren't fires. I'm gonna only keep the two. Because I also want to find the weapons pretty badly. Just any of the weapons. Didn't I get rid of you, sir? Excuse me, sir. Who told you you could come back? I'm aware that it's not the same one. Hmm. hmm found a weapon, nice. Oh, he showed up just in time. This is why it's an important Hearthstone skill to get better at pissing so you can piss a little bit faster so you don't miss your turn one. It's a very important skill. I'm only, gonna, I'm only doing this because basically we have Axe now so I just want to get rid of the weapon. Because we also have this so I just want to get it out of my hand. Basically. So I'm probably doing this. It's kind of annoying. I still probably play this, right? Diver, obviously, I can, like, use the weapon theoretically, but he could taunt it. But if we taunt it, no, that doesn't even stop it. So I guess I can do this, actually. It's just if it's an annoyer trying to get fucked. It's probably fine. Those trade, it's whatever. What the fuck are these? I'm gonna have a really hell of a time getting armor. I think I'm actually gonna take Snowden.
This is... This went way better than expected. Okay. Cool. I have to skip a turn of the swing if I want to activate the 7 drop immediately. Which I'll probably be able to do. He's probably going to not give us a swing at some point anyway, so... I'll just let that be. At some point. Wow. Okay. Um... Are we sure we're the control in this game? These are the questions now. I could Snowden right now, I guess. I actually kind of like that. We can negate like all the damage too. I'll do this. And now if we want to, we can play the uh, Sunken Trident, which I probably will, honestly. Just to, like, completely blow him off board. So I don't feel like we need another card draw. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what he does. Maybe we'll just City Architect or something. So we will just City Architect. Cool. No, I should just kill everything. You play into Flame Strike if you do the other play, which is just probably unnecessary, frankly. My minion! I am Donjon, thanks for follow. Do I just Bat Rider now? Probably just Bat Rider. It's like I don't even need this. Like having three charge this sunken weapon is so disgusting, actually. It's just like, how does anyone get bored? It's like it's like playing a Sarah level of bullshit, right? Like it's just like, how does anyone ever get bored against you? It's just not possible. <laughs> now we can play this if we want. I think I'm gonna save this weapon and just like use this now. <laughs> Man, I kinda wanna take that Axe Berserker actually. You know what? I think I will. I'm just gonna draw more weapons. <laughs> more Trident. Yes. This doesn't draw anymore, right? Whatever. Yeah, and like we just don't want to ever take damage unless until we get like really comfy because there's just no reason to. No! Oh, yeah, yeah, we do have a gangplank, right? I forgot we had that. Yeah, I should have played that then. You know, it does nothing, right? Well, it makes us use the weapon charge, I guess. Do I even play this? I feel like I just hold this. <laughs> I'll put this into the the turn that if he, you know, just minimize the power of a flame strike. It would have been also fine to just play Forge Fiend this turn, just for, you know, big thing to survive Flame Strike as well. Do I have 12 own all classes? No. 
b between since the achievements came out the accounts i have it well also mine are split between three different servers so i don't have like an account that has all of them on it but um i have like six classes with 12 i think mage warlock priest hunter paladin demon hunter He's like Giga dead, right? Like He's like Giga Omega dead. It's actually not that dead. It's the funny thing. I had a 12 in dual class. I don't know if that's what it counted as. Anyway, maybe it was the dual class one. Do I keep this? I think we just look for other things. I don't know if that was... Maybe it was the dual class one then. Because in dual class, it counts whatever your portrait is, right? So it might have been... I might have been the portrait class was... Priest. Because it's funny, I have so many um, Druid 12 O's, but I don't actually have the... Um... Do I coin this? Maybe... I want to trade this, actually, right? Because I don't want this. I don't think you're supposed to, like, you're not supposed to coin this, right? I don't think so. I think I'm... Yeah, dude, this on two, this on three. I don't know, I think that's the right start. But yeah, I don't actually have the Druid achievement, right? That wasn't one of the classes I named. Can't's funny. Hello there. Coins into trouble trade into get turn five lethal. So we just clear him, right? That's not bad. We still just clear him though. Am I equipping this hammer just to activate the brute? I probably just never play the brute, right? I should probably trade that thing. Are we are we just gonna die to curses? Is that what's happening to us right now? <laughs> I mean Like here's the problem is that we're gonna get spawned at Deathwing and we're gonna straight up die. This is the issue we have right now. Our answer is spawn a death wing to hero power and hit it with Drake and just hope it actually sticks somehow. Dude, we're actually dying. What the fuck? Um, help. Hey, we actually get to do that next turn. Wait, no, we don't. We need him to give us another one. It's armor Drake, right? Kill that. Kill this. Hope for the best. This gives plus two, plus two. It would, yeah. It just doesn't seem... doesn't seem like what we should be doing right now is buffing this thing. We're more worried about dying. Oh, he's actually... Dude, don't have another one! Fuck you. <laughs> Why are we dying? I mean, I know why we're dying, but...
is also has spawn of Deathwing. Help. You guys ready for a siphon soul? Why am I speaking these things into existence, chat? I have to just rip this and hope it miraculously saves us. You're not telling me this guy actually lost a game with this deck. Like, how do you actually lose with this? It's not possible, right? There's no way it's possible to lose with that deck. Holy fuck, why are there so many bots in my chat? In my YouTube chat this time? What the fuck? Like, I already removed one of them. There's like six of them. What the fuck? Are there any bots here? If you're a bot, type Mr. Destructoid in the chat. This one will go better. I don't have a turn three player. Oh well. Imagine having a turn three player. So we're axe, thanks for following. Uh, are we dying? Uh, it's not too bad. We always hit the 50-50, right? I'm thinking this didn't get buffed. That would have been kind of bad. Nice. Maybe that was the 50-50. I didn't specify. Are we getting... Oh. I think that was the 50-50. Nice. Oh, that's pretty big. We still diver. We play the drafted card first. I think. Well, fortunately for us, we don't have weapons, so we can't um, hit ourselves down to zero. Okay, that's a problem. Actually, that's not a problem, never mind. <laughs> I forgot we played Fires of Zinashari, so nothing is a problem. Oh, that's very good. I apologize, sir. You appear to have been memed out of existence. This honest guy playing Twilight Drake and Gold... and Grunt and stuff. This poor guy. Okay, I don't feel sorry for him anymore. He played full-blown evil with a uh, quartermaster on board. Look how lucky we are. I got an 8-drop. Do I just put Mida down? Kind of hilarious having both of these. So I would like to heal. Like, we have this too, so it's like, as long as, if he slows down, like, removing this, assuming it's not another spawn of Deathwing, that fuck me, dude. <sighs> Ooh, Shuma. This never goes bad, right?
Surely we don't randomly die. I don't know if it counts as randomly dying. When you get smacked by a dragon three times. Heck, wait. We'll get something useful, right? Watch us draw the candle right now. What does it like? I say fucked up, didn't I? I should have done this differently. But, um... Because, <laughs> like, I could have killed one extra minion. I think, probably. Like, I could have killed one before. But... So, the lesson is, do not ruin bad decks. Do not ruin good decks by drafting fires, apparently. 